But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lordship of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the scrubs which fell from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. The Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to briefly discuss with us on the topic that says I need help. Amen. Amen. It, it is difficult sometimes for people to admit that they need help. You see men and women struggling without saying a word and, and, and they just keep struggling hoping that somehow out of their struggle uh, life will change and, and, and some people are struggling not really knowing whether they are struggling forward or struggling backward. Sometimes there are things that you do why you think that this thing will assist or help you go forward but you never know that the path you are walking on is only leading you backward but i want to discuss with us on the topic that says i need help i'll talk to you never say i need help I'll talk to somebody and say i need help this man the fact that i am telling you that i need help but i want to remind you that no man can help you but what you need is a divine help tell you never need a divine help because I know in most cases when you tell people your problem it will become the object of discussion uh, whenever beer is in their front you will become the topic uh, when you tell people what you are going through you will become the person they use as an instance uh, come to see him uh, because you have told them your problem uh, that's why I am telling somebody I need a divine help uh, can you be kind of give your name I need a divine help hallelujah yeah. Uh, the Bible says that in respect to one that Jesus when they said they parted into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Uh, but if you go to the book of Matthew chapter 11, 11 also respect to one, uh, the Bible says that Jesus began rebuking some cities that he had performed great miracles. The Bible says the city of Messina uh, and Jerusalem. Uh, the Bible said that Jesus said, Woe well, unto you if the great work that was done in you were done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented before now. In other words, the city that this woman came out from was a city that had not experienced the power of God in a mighty way. Uh, but the Bible says in that same cause this woman came out from her. Uh, I see somebody coming out of a place uh, where nothing great has happened before. You are about to become the great thing. Uh, you are about to become the miracle. You are about to become the testimony. You are about to become an evidence. If you believe that shot will be In the community, nobody had made it to the top. But the Bible said, in that same coast, I know that God is not a man. I know God is able to lift you up. Irrespective of what had never happened before, you are about to become the first. I said, you are about to become the first. If you believe that, stand up and shout it. in that same coast this woman came no matter how insignificant that your area has been I believe that there will only come a time where God will change the story Amen and the Bible says now faith is I see somebody believing that you are about to become the one I know there has never been a millionaire there but you are about to become the one and you are never about to become the one if you want the one that was there, turn around and tell the person, I am the one. The one, the prophesied one, 
I know the Bible prophesied about Jesus and the Bible prophesied about John the Baptist and I tell you that the prophecy of your life is about to come to fulfillment. The prophecy of your family is about to come to fulfillment. If you believe that shout I am the one. In that same city came to this woman. And the Bible said, And behold, the woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. The same coast that Jesus admitted that he never did great things in that place. But somebody was about to change the story. This afternoon, on your way home, you will change the story. Yeah. Oh, what you shout at me, you are changing the story. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the Bible says, And this woman came. To Jesus. How many of you have identified that you have a problem? We have a problem with many people not knowing that they have a problem. And because many have not identified that what is going on in their life is a problem, you see them behaving as if nothing is at stake. People who never saw solution to their problems end up targeting that problem, never coming out. Are you still hearing me? Yes, sir. When you have a problem and you ignore that problem, it does not just remain the way it is, it increases. Many of us here who are not seeing the problem in your life and they are sitting up on it as if nothing is wrong. Some of you in five years' time you will wish you were not as comfortable as you are today. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Many of us, we have a serious problem. But our biggest problem is that we are pretending that there is no problem. Listen, you can pretend to man, but can you pretend to God? No, no. The Bible said that we have been naked before God. And yet, when they say pray, you find it difficult to pray because God must not to see you like a man that has a problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said that this woman identified that there is a problem in her life. But, ladies and gentlemen, she did not run to anybody. She ran to Jesus. Many of us sitting in the church, we never, but I, I, I find it funny when I talk to people, why did you come to church and say, I am under stress? Your mother become a stress over. Your daily become the remedy to your stress. You ask some people, why did you come to prayer meeting? I am going through a difficult time. Oh, difficult times are meant to draw you to God. Because it is only in the presence of God that difficulties disappear. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Difficulties cannot stand the glory of God. Difficulties cannot stand the power of God. Difficulty cannot with, with, withstand that I mean it from the presence of God. And I'm praying this afternoon. Any problem that you can hear with today, at the glory of God comes upon his house, that problem will disappear this afternoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So get to Jesus. And if you see the name, she came to Jesus. She was very much aware of she who she was talking to. Is that a mercy of me, O oh Lord? Now some of the who you are and I need your help. Now I have something profound that I will want to share with us in this place. The Bible says of Son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Now, I don't care whether this woman said daughter or son, but I know that whenever you say child, it means continuity to life. This woman was concerned about her future. Is somebody hearing me? Yes. It's of the future. How many of you have foreseen 
they would abide in place of their child. Every father will wish, even if their child is five years old, to bury him. Because it is an abomination for a parent to bury their child. They brought their child into the world and they took the child out of the world. It is an abomination. This woman said, if I lose her,
Do you know that the Bible says that a thousand years can be like a day in the eyes of God? Which means you can suffer for a thousand years and God is still calculating in the whole day of your prison.
soon as she was here, look at the net box. But he answered. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you there? Yes, sir. Read with me, verse 26. But he answered and said, If it is not me. No, 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 no. Let, let's just stop there. The, the thing is cool enough. From that, he answered and nothing. To he did what? He said, you see, there is no, there is nothing that dangerous as when somebody is not saying anything. Because you don't know what they want to say. But when the moment somebody is talking, it's easier to negotiate. Yes. The Bible said that when this woman worshipped, Jesus turned around and said something. Hallelujah. You are worship this afternoon. What provoke heaven to say something over you? I'm 
Father. But God also has protocols, the way He has made it. Some of you will not look at that. Is it because God has given him small money? He's raising his hand. Yes. 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 And God did not make mistake why he did it. So if he's raising your hand and you need to bring down your own to get something from him, bring down your hand.
what you right now is that by the way? Just close your eyes.